Do users need to select files in your application? Why not use a file dialog? Hi, I'm Philip from CodeCabinet.com. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the file dialog, the common file dialog we know from countless applications, inside your Microsoft Access application to let the user select files for data import or file names for data export or for whatever other reason you might need a file. And uh, this completes my series about importing text files into Microsoft Access. If you haven't watched the previous videos and are interested in the topic, I suggest you um, look for them. I'm going to put a link somewhere in here. And um, yeah, that is uh, the introduction for today. Let's get to work. I already prepared a little bit here. Um, I've got a procedure that calls a dialogue. Now um, we've got this dialogue here and the user could enter a file name and um, then use that dialogue to import that file. That All that works and if you want to know how, that, uh, how I implemented that then you should watch um, the video on that. I'll put a link in here. But Typing a file name inside a text box, that is not what most users would like. So you need a proper dialogue to select a file here. And now I will show how to implement that. This is just my little form here. And I add a tiny button next to that um, text box for the file name and we just put in three dots as uh, the caption of that button. That should be um, pretty intuitive to the user that he can click there to select a file. I name that button CMD select file. And now I say I want to build an event in the code builder. This takes me right to the VBA editor and I switch to procedure view only so that we do not get distracted by um, the other code inside that form. And now I try to implement the file dialog. To do that, I need to add a reference on the object library from Office. I go to the Tools menu, References, and in this long list I scroll down to Microsoft Office. Microsoft Office 15 object library and that version number in the middle might be different uh, depending on what version of Office you got installed but it works all the same in all modern Office versions um, since Office 2010 and newer. So now I can define a file dialog variable as file dialog and that is actually defined in that library I just referenced. Now we create an instance of the file dialog by saying application file dialog and I need to specify which kind of file dialog I want. I use this for opening a file for an text import so I use that MSO file dialog open Hang on a second, I make the window a little bit wider. So that will create the instance of the file dialog class. Now, I need to set a couple of properties before I can use that. I need, um, well, this is optional, but um, I like that very much in Visual Basic. I can say with this object, the file dialog FD, and then I can just write dot and can refer to the properties of the file dialog right away without needing to write the fd dot um, all the time. I want to select one file for import so I set the allow multi select property to false. And now the next thing we should think about which kind of files we want to uh, allow the user to select and that is a filters 
collection in that class and that already contains quite a lot of office typical file names like excel sheets and access databases and word documents and um, whatever we don't need all those so we just want to clear this collection before we continue so the filters collection is empty now we could select no file type at all but we want um, allow the user to actually um, select files so we use the add method to add file types to that filters collection and the first type i add is just any file that is the description and now here's the extensions property i think that is not properly named because it's actually a file mask so i need to enter something like star dot star for any file but it has to have this format i need to have a file name part the dot and then an a pattern map for the extension and that is in first position in my list and i want to use this um, this file dialog to select an csv file to import the data into access so i add a more specific filter here and say csv file or i can write comma separated file and that would have the pattern star.csv and sometimes people save their csv files just with the extension, t, extension txt so we can actually add several patterns in here we separate them by semicolon and now you can say dot txt to allow for that as well and that is in the second position of my filters so we added the two different filters now i want to select a default filter that is done with the filter index method and we want to be uh, the comma separated file should be our default filter and we refer to it by that index value right here at the end so i say filter index equals two and we're basically done with the setup here now we can show the dialog then we just need the show method and the show method returns a boolean value if the user okay, clicks the open button it will return true if the user cancels the dialog it will return false so we can say if show and the user has then confirmed the file open then we can assign the selected file to our text text box file name to its value property now with the dot we refer again to the file dialog and the selected items it could be multiple items if we had said allow multi-select true but we said false for allow multi-select so there can be only one item and we can refer to that by the index one it's a one based index and so this will return the selected file to our text box now let's look if that works and here we go that is our file dialog and if i go browse to a directory where there are the sv files in there look here is one i can say open and now the user can just click on the import file button and the import runs and there's the import completed um, button uh, message box and that was actually the calling procedure now let's go back to that file dialog and that is basically it that's pretty simple and a very user-friendly way to select the file name in your application so 
We got the file dialog working now. That is um, everything covered what I intended from this series, so the series is complete. Nevertheless, I suggest you subscribe to my channel and um, I'm going to publish lots and lots of other stuff. I have so many ideas I can hardly decide where to start. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good time. Bye bye.